Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me this morning on this episode of My Hometown. Please give a big welcome to Scott Bowers, the owner, operator of Elizabeth and Escape, the Reader's Choice Award of 2020. Good morning. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming and meeting me this morning in this awful rain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> rain or shine, we're going to have fun. Yes, we definitely are. <laughs> we're going to have fun now that you're in town with this new addition to your program that you've added on this year. First of all, why don't you tell our what our viewers a little bit about the actual escape rooms in case they've never viewed that portion and then then we can lead into this awesomeness. Right. Uh, the escape rooms, we offer two different themes. We have uh, currently running, we change these out every now and then. We uh, currently have a Jurassic Island, which is a dinosaur themed one. Um, and then we have a fun hillbilly one called Redneck Rampage. And each of our games are two rooms. And uh, you start out uh, in one room, do the accomplishments, get into the second room, and then hopefully from there you'll escape the game. And there is all kinds of fun, adventure, laughter, and hilarity that happens uh, in these. And uh, usually takes about an hour to get out of those. That sounds like so oh, much yeah. fun. My daughter came for a birthday party and she had a ball. She had a ball. I guess you do a lot of birthday parties. We do, absolutely. And what are your process for these adventures? Okay, um, ages six and under are free. Now, we did a very unique spin on this. Um, we were private games long before the pandemic ever hit. Yes. Um, that way, people did not have to go get a babysitter. If they needed to bring their three or four year old in or, or, or their infant, that's fine with us. All the games are private. I love that. Um, so with that being said, ages six and under are free. Yes. And then um, ages seven to 15, uh, this is tax included, is thirteen ninety nine, And then uh, 16 and up is twenty one ninety five tax and all. That's for the escape room. And then when you're done, well, your day's just started. Then you get to come back and hit the retro arcade all you want. And this is my favorite part. I can move <laughs> in. I could just move in. This I wanted this to be uh, my home when I was growing up. So mm -hmm. I'm in heaven coming down here. And I brought my grandkids down here last weekend and we had a ball. So fill us in on all of this awesome new retro fun we got going on back here. Uh, this is our unique spin. Uh, this is basically bringing back the 80s and the 90s just from the decor alone. The decor is pretty much all from my personal collection um, growing up and this is just a walk back in time. Um, from the decor to the, um, we have of course arcade cabinets, uh, anywhere from uh, Galaga and Pac-Man and um, uh, Mortal Kombat, NBA Jam, uh, just a long list of cabinets that we have. And then we threw in what you normally don't see at a retro arcade, which is the consoles. Now you take like the Nintendo over here, you're gonna do old school. And when I mean old school, you're gonna play the original Nintendo on the uh, floor model TV, sitting on the couch just the way I did as a kid. Yes, I love that. I love that setup. And yes. I've watched my grandson over there kill a bunch of ducks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bring him back, Duck Hunt. I love it. He was having a ball with it. Well, I did watch one of them get angry at the dog because when they <laughs> missed, the dog come up laughing. And yeah, uh, <laughs> yes. that brought back memories. <laughs> Good memories. Absolutely. Exactly. I was having fun myself with Pac-Man over here because mm -hmm. and Galaga. I was just like, oh my goodness, I haven't played this in years. So you even let the moms and dads join oh, yeah. in on the fun when the kids come down. Absolutely. And, you know, we don't have just uh, those games. We have, of course, foosball. We have digital pinball. And then Sockum, robots. <laughs> this is what amazes me. It doesn't matter what age, doesn't matter what they've done in here. Before they leave, they're going to spend... Uh, there was one college group that came in and spent an hour at this table playing Uno. Yes. Playing Sorry, yes. Rock and Sock and Bone uh, uh, Robots, uh, Hungry Hungry Hippos. Um, and I of love course, this. The old school Magic 8, Rubik's Cube. I played with that the whole week. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, somebody solved it since I was here last. Yes. Oh, we've got a genius in town. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, well, 
What do you see coming up in the future? I'm hoping that you are just slammed in here all winter long. Are you trying to grow outdoor I'm, games? Um, I've got a couple more cabinets ordered. Uh, the first one will be here uh, in October, actually, and that is going to be the uh, four-player uh, X-Men and uh, it's got uh, some other games on it as well. Um, I did forget to mention that you don't have to do an escape room to do exactly. the arcade. Yes. If you want to do just the arcade, it's $5 a person. You play all you want. It's the best five bucks you'll ever spend yes, because you is. can leave, go down the road here. Let's say we're gonna go to Sweetie Treats and get some ice cream. Yes. Go down to G Ray's, get some pizza. You can do whatever, come back later, you've paid for the entire day. I think that is absolutely amazing and awful kind of you in a world where people care more about the De Niro, and, and you're actually offering a whole day for these kids for five bucks a piece. You just don't hear of that anymore. And plus, you do have popcorn, popcorn and drinks. drinks yes. and, oh, yeah. It's just, it's a fun day. It's all I about mine, a mine, and believe me, we had a ball. And that was the best two hours I've spent with a bunch of kids. <laughs> it's about it's a safe fun. environment. It's about yes. having fun. Um, and it's like you said, it's, it's not about the money. I wanted something, and the arcade is it, that no matter what income bracket you fall in, you can come up five bucks for that kid or yes. yourself. We get a lot of adults in here, let me tell you. Oh, uh, I would say so. Oh, My yeah. generation's going to be wearing you out. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so. Especially right here on this foosball table. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm so excited. Thank you so much for meeting me this morning absolutely. and coming in and talking with us. I appreciate y'all very much. And everybody come, come and see, see us. Him? Yes, absolutely. Yes. yes. Promise Thank you'll you. have a good time. Have a great day.